3,590 pounds. A J Feather 19H originally sold here at Halet RV. The folks uh, took advantage of the Jayco Blue Tag sales event this year, getting an extra thousand dollars from Jayco for trade-in value on this one on the purchase of a new Jayco here at Halet RV. I think it's actually their new one right behind us, right there. Um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull the pin. She's a handyman special. Handyman special. And the thing is, you look at this, and you're like, why? Why is it a handyman special? The the ends look good, the roof looks good, the skin, the walls look great. I mean, most everything in this thing looks absolutely fantastic, right? Well, you notice I said most, I didn't say everything, because <gasps> the floor, the floor is not fantastic. So, if you are a project person, if you're a fix it and flip it kind of person, this is very uh, salvageable. Like, I mean, for instance, I'm a 200 pound guy. I'm walking around this thing. It's pretty much fine. Now, it gets crispier and softer up here. But overall, it's not terrible. It's just that somebody caught up all the linoleum and I think they went to fix it and went, oh, no, dude, this is, this is beyond my level of DIY. I wouldn't be fixing this thing. I'd be doing the same thing the previous folks are doing, especially if Jacob pitched in an extra grand like this during the blue tag thing. But um, as a result, we're going to call this a handyman special. We're just going to let it go out of here. We're going to ride it cheap. And, you know, someone, if you're looking for your very first camping experience, otherwise, other than the floor, it generally looks okay. It actually looks really good. And I don't know what caused the thing with the floor. Because if you look at, like, I mean, if we start looking at the soft goods, the countertop, the bed ends, the, the mattresses, they look stellar. So I don't know if somebody just left open a baggage door. I don't know if a bad winterization or, uh, or failure to winterize caused this. Or if there was something else. I'm not sure. All I know is what it is currently. So what I recommend in any sort of case like this. Before you go making a decision. Upon which there's money riding. Because that's kind of what happens in an RV purchase. There's some money exchange involved here. Um, I recommend... You give our team a call first, see if it's available. The way things have been just flying off the shelves, that's always recommendation number one, whether it's you know new, used, handyman special or not. Check the status of it before you come in here. If it looks like it's the right one, make the trip in, see it for yourself, form your own opinions. Now, because it is a bargain budget kind of camper, and because there are things like that floor that I'm seeing, I can't stand here and guarantee the perfect working order of every single thing in this RV. Standing here, I don't know if everything is in good working order. I have no reason to believe it's not. Generally speaking, like I said, other than the floor, everything on this leads me to think positive things about this RV. But, fact is, you could take this thing home, and a week from now the microwave could go out, and it will be an as-is purchase. We have, so, you know, we're going to get that right out of the way. However, I don't expect you to just guess or hope or take a word if things are working. We will pull it up to the building. We're happy to plug it in, see what works, what doesn't. Provided, you know, you're a legitimate you know, person, not just someone who's casually interested, because as strange as it sounds, sometimes people do that, like we have spare time and we do this for fun. Um, you know, and you can see what's in good working order and what's not before that money changes hands. That sounds fair to me. I did notice some weathering on those tires, which is not really surprising given the age of the RV. But I mean, if you look at the skin, the decals, it, they're still shining, they're gleaming, they're really not even weathered. Um, <laughs> This is a really good looking camper. It just really needs some floor work. Now the thing is, frankly, you could probably just do a really nice job of cutting out some uh, Luan decking, which is what it looks like the previous owners did a little bit of. But I think you could basically place down some Luan decking in key areas of the RV, maybe put down some new lino over top of that, and frankly, it would be perfectly campable. That's about all it would take. This is also, interestingly, one of the earliest uh, examples and generations of a huck-bolted chassis, which is a really common thing nowadays. Still found on J-Feathers, but also on White Hawks and Passports and a bunch of other stuff that we have here at Halet RV. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with the way it has aged, obviously, other than the floor. And hey, a power awning on here, which was not a common feature found on a hybrid camper at the time this was built. Nice little thing right there. A little gas grill hookup under those two... Uh, campsite windows as well. So give us a call. Know that we'll shoot you straight here at Halet RV. Whether it's 
pitching pieces, parts, or trades from economy to excitement, give us a call. We do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.